Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to today's review. Another TPX review. Today's review is Kona Blend. Again, brought to you by Exclusive 05. Today's Cherry Vanilla. I like Cherry Vanilla. It's one of my favorite flavors. I like Cherry Soda. I like Vanilla Soda. I especially like Cherry Vanilla Soda. Hopefully, as an energy drink, it won't be too far off as something I like. Let's jump into it. So, here we have our red can with yellow patterns, or gold patterns, I don't really know. But yep, there's our cherry vanilla. There you go. It was explained to me yesterday that, uh, well, yeah, basically, that, uh, yeah, no, hemp was, eh, I wasn't, I wasn't really close, but I was, I was on to something else, I guess, um, yeah, they definitely, they take some, uh, some weed, uh, plant, it's 15, I'll show that to you now, they put 15 milligrams of, uh, in weed, there's the seed, and then THC, they get you, like, high, whatever. They take the seed out and they put it in the drink. So yeah. Cool. <laughs> I, I mean, I just, it's, I don't know everything in the world, so I was about to know nothing about that since I don't smoke weed. <laughs> but, you know, I, uh, I tried. I tried to, uh, I tried to give you my best guess even if it was way off. Yeah, there you go. Literally says THC free. Ugh. Feels stupid. Yeah, that's what everybody... That's what everybody be smoking weed for. The THC. Okay. Okay, I mean, it kind of smells a little bit like, it definitely, it's definitely cherry vanilla, however, it's kind of that cherry vanilla that you get from, uh, you know, drinks like Hyde and stuff. It's a, it's kind of a sour smelling cherry vanilla, like a, I don't know. Definitely not like the, let's say the delicious, warm, craveable cherry vanilla, you know? It's got a very, like, kind of, like, syrupy smell. Like, if you were to make, if you were going to use this to then make your own soda, it's like a concentrate, you know? Rather than actually it being what you want to drink, it's more like the stuff that you use to make what you want to drink. So, Okay, that's an interesting smell. It's a bit of a strange cherry vanilla smell. It's very, I guess, like I wouldn't say it's vanilla extract mixed with cherry extract. I don't know, maybe, it's not a candy one, I'll put it that way. It's not candy cherry vanilla. It's more of like a realistic cherry vanilla. Uh, I don't know. It's not like vanilla vodka or cherry something. You know, it's kind of doesn't, has a very healthy smell. No big deal. Smell's never been important. Not at least that much. It's there, but you know, it's not everything. So there you go, is our clear color that we come to know and love so much, so dearly. And yeah. It's a taste. All right. Well, it tastes a little bit better than it smells, but not like a thousand degrees better. You know, it's kind of like hmm. It's more like I've had something like this before. 
It does kind of remind me of the energy drinks that we've been battling lately with Hyde and Spider. It's a very uh, it's not as sour. It doesn't have that weird sour aftertaste, but it is because it's a much more candy-ish taste than something like Spider or Hyde, but it's still not like the candy cherry vanilla I was talking about, you know, like, even though I said that, yeah, it's not the candy, uh, smell, it has a, sm a candy taste, but still not something you want to be drinking. It's got a bit of a strange little something about it, you know, it being an energy drink and it having uh, I don't know what it is exactly. It's reminding me of Spiker so much, yet it's tasting somewhat different. It's it's like I've had a soda before that was exactly like this. So it's not the fault of it being an energy drink at all. It's just that it's... Oh, it does not finish the can. It's not that it's an energy drink. And it's not that it, it's just that it's a soda, and I think I've had it before. I did like it at the time I tasted it. I feel like it was like a Jones soda, you know? Like, uh... And, and it wouldn't be wrong, because I think these were made with cane sugar, correct? So, when it all comes down to it, it is kind of like a Jones soda cherry vanilla. But it's not like a Dr. Pepper cherry vanilla, or a Coke cherry vanilla, you know? It's got a... I think it's the fact that it's not a caramel dark flavored drink. It is a soda consistency. It's lightly carbonated. Pretty pretty decently. It's it's like decently carbonated. And it all just kind of comes together in a pretty decent consistency and flavor. Uh but more on the flavor. It is cherry vanilla and it's really good. I think it's just because it's not a caramel based cherry vanilla. It's missing a lot of the caramel properties, which obviously is, you know, that's what makes Coke Coke. But it's generally just uh yeah, I mean it's it's good. I actually like it for its own attempt and it's very um refreshing. And uh it's not a bad cherry vanilla. It's just not what I was expecting. And there that's where you have to draw a line with personal preference and you know giving an honest review here it's um yeah it's good it is good and i i do like it to its its own unique way um i actually can't really i want to keep drinking it but because i really love cherry vanilla drinks um it's just not the yeah this is the cherry vanilla i wanted you know but it is good. It's a smooth, it's a smooth taste. Um, it's a bit sour, but um, maybe, maybe it's not that it's sour, but it's sweeter. I think it's very, it's a very sweet cherry, and a and a bit of a, a sour vanilla, and you put them together, and you get this kind of artificially not pleasant thing to taste. Even though it says it's all natural flavors and such. I still feel like it falls back on a, uh, you know, kind of artificial taste, if you will. So, I don't know. Um, overall, I feel like this definitely... Hmm. I like... I feel for the professional world score... Um, I feel like an 8.5 is good. I feel like it's a decent flavor. 
deserves an 8.5. Uh, my personal score, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna agree with, with that score. Um, so that's going to be a three and a half stars out of five, and that will be eight point five, maybe nine for me. Basically, I feel like that's right. I feel like that's a comfortable way to be. I don't know if I keep doing that, if that's my... But that is where I feel like this is. It's a very good cherry vanilla. I like the vanilla part more, though. I'll put it that way. Because the cherry part is just a little bit strange. I think what I'm thinking of is Petey's Bing energy drink. It is a... They always, always sell different varieties of cherry. It's always, like, black cherry, apple and cherry crisp cherry, candy cherry, or whatever. I think, even though most people, like, I think people would agree that this does not taste like maraschino cherries, nor does it taste like a real cherry. It's got a very fake cherry taste, which is something that a lot of energy drink companies and soda companies cannot get right. Um, this tastes more like Fun Dip cherry. I'm sure you know what that is. If you don't, it's a, it's a, it's a package of candy sticks with powder and after you lick a stick once and dip it into the cherry powder you get this fun dip so yeah taste artificial to me it's not a very good cherry and I feel like that's what they use they use some kind of cherry mix powder but um it's okay the vanilla makes up for it a little bit because vanilla has been around for a long time in the cokes been around as a food extract you could put in your desserts when you're baking um, all kinds of shit so vanilla is always been very very good and uh, yeah so needless to say sorry I kind of just kicked back and had no animation here in the front for you to see but I just kind of yeah I just kinda laid back and just really thought about why it bothers me and what I like about it so um, I wish there was more going on in this direction, but uh, unless you're looking at my face, which is totally not suitable for a camera right now. <laughs> Here's a mess. Um, yeah, that's what you're going to get. Uh, two, a glass and a can. Whoopee. Sorry about that, but uh, yeah, realistically, that's where we're at. It's a pretty decent energy drink. It's 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 pretty tasty. Uh, just not something I'd be like, holy crap, got to have the cherry vanilla like that's what I've been waiting for all these years. I kind of wish that they just bring back cherry vanilla Coke and cherry vanilla Dr. Pepper. Those are amazing. Like, amazing. But they won't. Because everything that's that good, I get told no. Go, go, go take a hike. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. And thanks for Exclusive 05 for handing me a cherry vanilla energy drink that I probably will never see again. Uh, this is a very classic flavor. The, I think it was common in the 50s. Uh, cherry and vanilla, or it was like 50, I'm pretty sure the 50s, they were hardcore on the cherry vanilla stuff. Or one or the other, at least. I think that's when the, they originally invented cherry coke. So, there you go. And, uh, hope you guys enjoyed my review. And I'll see you soon with the next flavor. Team Picks Reviews. Gonna go, cherry vanilla. Peace.